All right, welcome back. According to a recent poll, 27% of voters say having a Mormon president would be cause for concern or at least would concern themselves or someone in their family, neighborhood, or office. The number really hasn't changed since Gallup began polling this issue back in 1967, when, oddly enough, Mitt Romney's father was running for president. When asked the following question, if your party nominated a generally well-qualified person who happened to be Mormon, would you vote for that person? 22% still said no. Opposition to a Mormon president is pretty high when compared to other minority groups, coming behind only the level of support for uh, gays and atheists, which begs the question, is Mormonism a stumbling block and something of an unspoken one for Mitt Romney? And, and Bethany, you think that Mitt Romney should address this issue head on? I do. It's something I've been writing about for different publications. Um, basically, I think that Mormonism is the elephant in the Republican tent. 50% of Republicans are conservative evangelicals, and he's got to get them on his side. And as a conservative evangelical, I can tell you that many evangelicals are uncertain as to who, if they're going to vote, or are they going to vote for a lesser of who they consider to be two evils, and that would be voting for Romney as opposed to Obama. They're not going to vote for Obama. So the question is, do we vote for the lesser of two evils for Romney, or do we not vote? Doesn't he run the risk of potentially alienating evangelical voters by emphasizing his religion even more? What he needs to do is he needs to talk about religious freedom in this country. He needs to talk about the, that he shares the same conservative values that evangelicals share, and that his church is not going to dictate the policies that he administers in the White House. But the uneasiness that evangelicals have with Mormons has to do with theological differences and it has to do with what we consider to be inauthenticity. So Mitt Romney has been considered to be robotic, he's out of touch, all these different criticisms I've used about those, him. I've used those phrases, I believe. <laughs> but the real issue for Christians is that if you call yourself a Christian and you're not one, then what does it say about the other policies or things that you're going to do? Well, and so he, he didn't some walk of the off the planet, though, Bethany. I mean, he was a governor of Massachusetts. Th this isn't a guy who just came off the, the, the planet that Mormons go to. I mean, he, he has been a man who's run the Salt Lake Olympics. He's been a successful businessman. He tithes. He gives to the church. He donates his time for volunteers to be. He's not running for pope. Or, or, totally or the, agree. Uh, I totally agree. agree. And 90 plus Republican percent are voting for Mitt Romney. When it comes to <laughs> theological differences, that's where the problem is. But what I've been arguing for conservative evangelicals is that we're $6 trillion in debt. We were left with $1 trillion in debt under Bush. So in three and a half years, Obama's increased the debt to $6 trillion. So we have a serious economic crisis. What does that have to do with, with we have a Mitt Romney's religion? That there are things that they can put aside in light of the situation that the and economy they will. is in. And they will. I, the, and the last I thing I worry about, Bethany, is evangelicals voting for Mitt Romney because they are going to flock to Mitt Romney in this election. See, it would imagine flock to me, to if I and were... And the national debt's 15 If trillion. I were a Republican consultant, I mean, I understand where you're coming from, but I would say to Mitt Romney, he needs to address Mormonism almost like he needs a hole in the head. Exactly. I mean, it's, it's the worst something thing he can do. That's the it worst thing like he Barack can do. It would be like Barack Obama right. talking about Jeremiah Wright. Why it, did I sit there when my pastor said, well, God how, damn how, America! How, how, how did I know you were going to say? Well, Jeremiah I mean, why, why are we talking? Why aren't we talking about that? I would think that's a bigger problem. If Mitt Romney said, could you imagine if Mitt Romney well, sat well, in well, a well, Mormon well. church and the pastor of that church said, "God damn America," we'd be talking about that from but, now until Tom, election Tom, day, Tom, Tom, right? Wouldn't we? When that but issue, I think that's a meaningless issue Tom, as well. When that, when that issue came up in 2008, President Obama actually had a speech in Philadelphia about it. And, and about if race. you remember, yeah. Andrew, because I'm old enough to remember this. Four years ago, Mitt Romney had the Mormon speech. Four he talked ago, about his Mormonism. That's irrelevant. He has to do it again, again? now. Yes, he needs this. In the election that he's winning right now, he needs to talk about it. This is 2012. He's, he's, he's ahead he of Michigan, talk. Andrew. Well, pulling, I, let, let the record reflect two Republicans are disagreeing, <laughs> and I'm not involved. <laughs> I just, I wanna, I'm I wanna, not an evangelical. I want to let talk. I want right to hear the end of what Bethany was saying. But <laughs> as an evangelical, I can tell you he needs to bring in these 50% of his party, and he doesn't have that 50%. And I'm saying I'm going to vote for Romney. I think for sure that I, my parents, super conservative evangelicals, they're going to vote for Romney. But I can tell you, I know a lot of evangelicals all over the country who I've spoken to who really don't know. And they, I personally believe, and I've been saying this and writing about it, is that he needs to come out and talk about his faith. Yes oh. or no? Should he, should he make that speech? Absolutely, unequivocally no, not. But, but, but just be the dumbest thing he ever but, did. But, yeah, I don't think he should do it. But 
if those conservatives don't vote and stay home, they know that that's a vote for Obama. They're, they're not, not going to do that. They're home, Dominic. They, 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 they're going to vote out with everything. everything. Right. Listen, we they agree. are on the we porch agree. right Already now with the ready car to vote. running, right. waiting to get to November 4th. You guys 4th. agree yes. louder than any two people I've ever met. <laughs> we <laughs> have to, to, over, to overcome the Twitterness <laughs> of you. We're going to take a...